back to my channel. Welcome back to Clayburn. So welcome to another tiny house delivery video. This is the second one. Uh, this one's my daughter's tiny house. It's coming sometime this week. And everybody worked really hard uh, and did what they could to get this area prepped. This woods was as thick here as anywhere you see out in the woods behind me. So of course that's chiggers and ticks and poison ivy and everything that comes with living in the woods. Um, until you get your space settled and you chase all the little critters back out into the actual woods, um, that's just part of settling uh, these spaces in nature. So I thought I'd take you around and show you how beautiful their space is that they chose. I absolutely love it down here. I think my daughter's naming her house the Dewdrop Inn. She has it spelled really cute. And she's also turning hers cattywampus. She was gonna have it facing the road, but there is quite a bit of traffic that goes through here. All the locals that live back in here like to use this road. So she is gonna go ahead and turn it. Nobody wanted their porches facing the west because the setting sun would have simply been too hot. So basically our porches face the rising sun, the east, a little bit tilted north, uh, but mostly east. Uh, so let me, without any further ado, take you around and show you their area right quick. They chose such a beautiful space. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna put up some bonus footage of how fun that bonfire was. At least it was so much fun for me. Everybody really had a good time here that day. But um, I've never been to such a gigantic, enormous bonfire before. And we all got to play music uh, because I was still feeling the remnants of the flu. I sat on the ATV and played DJ. Um, but we all chose fire songs from our own personal genre. And it just, we came together and it just had an amazing, I have decided that in my life, the moments that really stand out, they're not the Yellowstone trips that you post on Facebook as much as they are just everyday moments um, that you share with people. So yes, those vacations are wonderful, but don't forget to cherish the absolute everyday moments that you spend with people. Let's go look at their space. So basically we just made a circle out of removal of trees and the road is quite a ways over there and their cabin will sit clear back to this log right here is what they want to lean it up to. But didn't they choose an absolutely gorgeous space? Now I'm going to walk down the lane a little bit and show you all how close uh, they are to the creek and to Hippie Hill. Uh, I don't have a web buster on me this morning, so let me grab a web buster and uh, then I'll show you how close they are. So basically my son-in-law came down here with the tractor and just sort of made us a path all the way back here to the creek. It goes a long ways back here. That's my web buster. <sighs> it's a long ways back in here. Isn't that a beautiful trail? Isn't that gonna be an amazing trail? Now this I don't believe is part of the interactive walking trail. This is a private trail. This is on the residential side. And then you come all the way back in here. And then you can see Hippie Hill right there. So they're gonna clear out about four little campsites back up here on this hill. And uh, we're gonna try and make some kind of a cool spot back here. That's sort of a reflection of the 60s and 70s, the summer of love, um, and just call this Hippie Hill. So I wanted to show you how beautiful, beautiful the private area of the property is, and the public area is just as gorgeous as this. Now time for her house to be delivered.
FYI, he did give me permission to video. Also FYI, I had coffee this morning, which I wasn't used to, so I'm a little jittery. Here he comes. Way cool. If it wouldn't work there because of that drop, he could always go around, go in the same way he brought my cabin and come down our new little funny road, but cabin's so shaky, puppy. Mm, let me see if I can find a better way to hold this. Sorry. Everybody nauseous. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying. Should have brought my tripod. I apologize for the shakiness. I am not used to coffee. See if I can get a different angle. I will say the delivery on these things takes absolutely almost no time at all. It's the leveling that seems to take so long here because we are in the Ozarks and this property is very hilly. And so he has to spend quite a bit of time leveling so that the door opens and shuts properly and that the windows also operate properly. Oh, look how easy he just snakes that right into place. That's crazy.
they picked a really cute color and a beautiful space. Oh, they just picked a fabulous space for their cabin. Okay, so here's the front view of the little dew drop in. And if you'll notice, their window is on the right side and their door is on the left. So theirs is a little different. Mine's the other way around. My window's on that side and my step up is in the middle and my door is in the center. So that's super cute how they arranged that. These cabins run anywhere from, I don't know, five grand to 12 and up. Uh, these are mid-range cabins. And uh, depending on how far you are from your utility pole, you're, you can have an electrician come in anywhere from $1,500 to about three grand. And uh, you pick all your colors, and you can even custom uh, design where your door and your windows are. As you see, our cabins are the same, but they're just slightly different. And uh, there should be a couple more cabins in the next couple years. Uh, two of my grandsons are wanting to move down here, so we're gonna work on clearing their spaces. And uh, you know, if I was a millionaire, I'd have 10 of these things down here, I swear I would. I love these old cabins. All right, you guys, hopefully you'll stick around for the bonfire video. That was so much fun. Uh, if not, thank you for uh, being a part of this. Uh, and uh, we will try to keep up some more videos on how we continue to develop this property. Love and light, everybody. Blessed be. <laughs> Noises. <laughs> A lot of trees. <laughs> a lot of trees. We're just down here jamming the music. We just had lunch a little while ago. Burning the last of it. Getting ready for their tiny house. Yay! Ooh, that's loud. Ooh, it's a hot fire. All hail the fire gods. Now we've been playing fire music. We played The Doors, we played Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. That is one heck of a fire. Logan, stand next to that fire so we see how tall that is. All right. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> that is about a five foot fire. <laughs> That's a heck of a fire. That's, That's a crazy bonfire. Way fun.